Hi. Um, in this video, I want to answer a really important question that a lot of students have when they're first starting to learn how to solve uh, equations algebraically. Um, and the question they have is, why do I need to do all of these steps? So they get an equation that looks something like, let's say, 2x plus 1 equals 5. And then their teacher, who might be me, um, asks them to write down five different levels, five different steps, like five different lines of work to get the answer. And they're like, why well, no? Like, why do I need to do all this? I can tell the answer is two, because two times two plus one equals five. All right? So this is actually a really good question, um, because it's true. Uh, I believe that you know the answer is two, and you're right, the answer is two. The solution is x equals two. Um, so there's sort of two reasons why we need you to write down all of this work. Um, and why it feels weird. Uh, so the first one you've probably heard or are expecting, but I want to go into a little bit more detail. Um, so this, the first year that you're learning to do this, so I'll call that year one, um, you have to solve equations like this. And here's another example here, you have to solve equations like, I've actually just copied these out of uh, the textbooks that we use. Now 5x plus 8 equals 73. All right? Um, and then, of course, what teachers say is, oh, you need to do this to prepare for next year, uh, which is exactly true. And I just wanted to show you what the next sort of few years of equations look like. Um, so these are all just copied out of our textbooks. So this is the next year. Um, so an equation, I just opened the book to different chapter, uh, different pages, and I copied out this equation here. So m divided by negative 8 plus, 12, uh, plus 8 equals 12. And then here's another one, 6 times negative n, subtract 3 equals 24. And as we go along, all of these equations are possible to solve by looking at them, sometimes people say, or by inspection or by trial and error. Um, but they get harder and harder to solve by trial and error. So here's some from a year after. We've got 2 tenths times 5 subtract 2r equals 3 tenths times 1 subtract r. And here's another one from the same grade. 5x divided by 2 equals 11 plus 2x divided by 3. And we'll go one step further for one more grade. So we have equations like x squared, subtract 5x plus 6 equals 0. And the interesting thing that starts happening with these equations is there's more than one solution. And then this one here, 3x squared equals negative 7x plus 8. Um, so other than this one, you can probably, if you really are patient and organized, you could probably go through and solve any of these um, by guessing and checking and being really organized. But as we go on and as the equations get more complicated, even from this one to this one, it really becomes less efficient to guess and check and a lot more efficient to do algebraic steps because the algebraic steps you need to solve this equation are exactly the same just the numbers are different but this one I said I would want five lines for my students this one I would also want five lines for my students and this one as well five lines for my students this one maybe six um, so it's the same amount of work if you can solve them algebraically to do an easier equation compared to a harder equation. Um, and the other thing, you get to equations that you won't be able to solve by guessing and checking, like this one right here. But the steps to solve this one, depending on what method you use, could be exactly the same as the steps you use to solve this one, which is a lot easier. Um, as you go on, this, if you can proceed systematically and solve algebraically, it won't throw you when the numbers get hard. But if you're just guessing and checking, it'll become impossible pretty quickly. All right, so that was the first reason, is because we need to prepare you for next year and next year and next year and next year. Um, the second reason is actually something that teachers do 
to help you. Um, but sometimes it backfires a little bit. When we're first teaching you to solve equations, we give you equations like this. Um, and then we ask you to write five lines of work, which might feel silly. Um, and we ask you to draw pictures and so on. We ask you to maybe draw algebra tiles or balance scales. And the reason that we ask you to draw this equation is because it would take ages to draw this equation. Who wants to draw 73 little squares to represent positive 73? Nobody. We don't want to mark it. You don't want to draw it. It's a waste of time, probably. That being said, um, you have to sort of work with us too and focus on the process of this equation. A lot of people would be able to focus on the process of this equation because the answer doesn't jump to your head um, it, as much as it might with this one. So we come up with, the, we ask you to do solve equations where the numbers are easier. So you don't need to do, um, especially when you're drawing, so you don't need to draw really, really big and unpleasant numbers. But the process is the same. And if you understand the process with the easy ones, then you'll e equally easily be able to do the process with the harder ones. All right, I hope that was a little bit helpful. Um, really, we are trying to help you to uh, solve equations. It's true that when you're first beginning, it feels sometimes like you have to do a lot of work. Um, and the work might feel a bit silly. Um, but really, we are trying to get you prepared so that when you get to equations like these, it's totally easy, it's comfortable, you know just exactly what to do to solve them. Alright, thanks and good luck!